Coach Don Shula brought his Miami Dolphins to historic Harvard Stadium to open the season against the Boston Patriots. An impressive team during preseason play, the Dolphins charged through the Patriots the first time they had control of the ball. Jim Kick carried a short flare pass from quarterback Bob Greasy, 47 yards to the Boston 15. Three plays later, Greasy followed guard Maxie Williams, number 78, around right in and sneaked into the end zone for the game's first score. In the second period, Miami's defense opened the way for a second touchdown when safety Jake Scott, a rookie from Georgia, intercepted a Patriot pass and returned it to the Boston 40. Greasy flipped out to rough running Jim Kick again, and the Dolphins moved to the Patriot 25. Kick, a stocky three-year veteran from Wyoming, powered across for Miami's second touchdown. And midway through the second quarter, the Dolphins held a commanding 14-3 lead. The two key defensive plays by the Patriots changed the tenor of the game. Darrell Johnson picked off a pass, and four plays later, Carl Garrett plunged into the end zone for a Boston score. The second key defensive play was made by tackle Jim Hunt, who knocked the ball from Larry Zonka, and Boston recovered it on the Dolphin 14. A 13-yard in run by Jim Nance set up a short touchdown plunge. A Patriot field goal in the waning minutes of the first half increased Boston's lead to 20 to 14. In the second half, Carl Garrett, Boston's rookie of the year in 1969, dives through the Dolphins for 26 yards. Quarterback Mike Tolliver pitched a perfect strike to Ron Sellers for the clinching score as underdog Boston surprised the Dolphins 27 to 14 and spoiled Don Shula's debut as head coach.